Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. It's a Latin word for slave. Indio, right. Indio means slave. Indy means what? It'll be slave. Teach right, so That's American version. So you calling yourself a West slave. We're out here to teach our people who they are because guess what? He just said you're Jamaican, right? So come here to the side. Look at this up. Bring it out. You're going to go over the 12 tribes of Israel. We making the 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native Indians. Do you right. see what tribe? All right, so now, how do you think you got that name? Teacher. Instead of not knowing who you are, like uh, Benjamin. Because a lot of us, we, we, we call ourselves black. Right. I'm Hispanic. I'm Native Indian. Got it. But right. guess what? You ever seen um, 12 Years a Slave? You ever seen Roots? So what happened? Did they have their own names or their names forced them? Bring it out. They were forcing them, right? We were given names because guess what? Like some of us used to have the names of Thomas, Jones, Jefferson, right? But guess what? If you look back, these names were given to them how? How were these names given to our people? By choice? Did, I, did we come here on a slave ship by choice? What about getting our names by choice? Right? They were, they were doing what? Right. They were given to us, right? Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue doing, from thy heritage. Come on, some history, man. We're going that I place. gave thee. Do you read it again? Read up. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Right. That I gave thee. The heritage that he gave us was the law, statutes, and commandments. But guess what we did? We broke the laws. So he said, I'm going to do what? And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. right. that I gave thee. That I what? That I gave thee. Right. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies right. in the land which thou knowest not. In the what? In the land which thou knowest not. So did that happen to us? Do we serve enemies in the land which we knew not? If we were taken from the west coast of Africa from our inflation, were we taken to a land that we knew not? Teach we came here to a land that wasn't ours. Right. They would serve our enemies. Serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So right. guess what? When we came to this land, we didn't know. We did have to serve enemies in the land which you knew not. Read. Bring it out. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. We have done what? Kindled a fire in my anger. How did we kindle a fire in God's anger? What was it that we did that he said, you know what? I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it so that we don't you don't understand our or understand who you are, or remember that you're the Israelites, or remember my law, statutes, and commandments, or what tribe you come from. Teach up! Why do you think you did that? Bring it up! We disobeyed, right? We disobeyed right. God's command. What's your name, brother? Nate. Nate? 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 Yes. Nate and Ken. Y'all, guess what? Shalom. Say, say what's up to each other. You two are brothers. A lot of times we walk through the streets and we don't, we don't say nothing to our people. 
You understand that, right? Right. Walk by, you want to say what's up? Hey, man, how you doing? That's that's what we're trying to do. Bring our brothers together, right? Yes, sir. So now, who would you be according to the Bible? What are you calling yourself today, Nate? Spirit. Say that again? Spirit. Okay, you call yourself the Spirit. I'm talking about what, what do you put on your application when you go to work? Uh, Nate. Nate, what about if they ask you what your race is? Black. Black. So now, can you go back to the continent of black? Why not? We call ourselves that, but, but why can't we go back to that continent? Do you have a continent named black? What about Negro land? Bring it no, out. wait. But you black, though. Right, right. Right? They say we're the so called Negroes, right? Why can't we go back to these places? Teach y'all. What about the land of Africa in America? Bring it up. Can you go back to that land? Right. You can't because there's two continents. Right, right. Okay, so Africa was conquered by Leo Scipio Africanus. Right. right. When he conquered it, he conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic Wars. You can look this up throughout history. He conquered Hannibal during the Second Punic Wars, right? Teach when he conquered it, Rome gave him the title of Africanus. Right. That's why the land of Africa is named Africa now. You Bring understand? It, that? it was used to be in the Bible. It used to be called Head. Bring it out. Uh, America was named after who? America Vespucci. Bring it was an Italian out. navigator. So, white man, white man, two different continents. Can they make you? That's impossible. That's Bring right. it out. You gotta start understanding. Bring it out. Uh, who, who are we? According to the Bible, because they call us these different names. Right. These names are our names. They were names given to you because they beat your forefathers and said. Hey. Hey, guess what? You ever seen um Roots? You ever seen Roots? What happened to Toby? Teach up! Huh? They beat him. They beat him, but he said my name is Kinte, but he said your name is what? Your name is going to be Toby. Why? Bring it up! I own you. I'm going to call you after what I want to call you. Uh -huh. That's right. what he did. So that's why we were like, okay, my name is Washington. My right. name is Thomas. Right. My name is Jones, right? Yep. That's why we call ourselves that. But God said, I'm going to serve you, name, surname you by the name of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right. You look at here, come look at the sign. Look at the sign, what do you see? What's, what's your tribe? Right. American black, you will be what? What tribe did it say? Uh, Judah. Judah. So, right. Okay, so what tribe did Christ come from? Let's go to Revelation 1 verse 1. Bring it out. And Judah, Christ actually came from the tribe of Judah. Teach up. Right? He came out of the tribe of Judah. So right. you say, you are what? What would you be according to the Bible? You be from the tribe of Ben. Okay. That's so right. Now, next question is, who is it? Which, which depiction of Christ is in the Bible? Bring it out. Which one are we talk? But which one is in the Bible? Teach up. We talk this one, right? Okay, so which one is in the Bible? Which one do you think is in the Bible? The black one. Have you ever read that? Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means what? Revelation means what? To reveal. You know, the revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Right. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, okay. right. who bear record of the word of God Read. and of the testimony of Jesus Christ. Read testimony it out. of Jesus Christ. Read and on. of all things that he saw. That he what? That he saw. All right, jump to verse 11. Verse 11, uh -huh. saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, Read right. the first and the last. And thou seest, write it in a book. Read it again. Saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, Read on. the first and the last. Uh -huh. and, while, and what thou seest, write it in a book. What did he tell right. John? What did he tell John the Revelator? He said, what thou seest, do what? He said, write it in a book. So John's going to write down, right? That's why it says revelation means to reveal. What is it that he has to reveal or tell about Christ? Because what does he have to reveal it? Because it's been hidden. We've been taught this is the image to worship and all that. But guess what? In the Bible, that's why it says, verse 3. That's why it says, three. blessed he that does what? Blessed is he that read it. That do what? That read it. That do what? That read it. Do black people like to read? I can tell you right now. Teach up. Hey, you want, me, you want me to read this book? But guess what? Guess what's hidden in there? Knowledge. You understand that? When you open up the Bible and you actually read it, it's actually talking about you. You so-called blacks 
That's right. I'm talking about your history. That's right. We're not gonna read Black History. Read Teach up. Bless. Blessed is he. Blessed is he that reader. Blessed is he that what? Blessed is he that reader. It's right. not blessed if you read it because you're going to pick up this knowledge that you're an Israelite. Read. And That's they right. that hear the words of this prophet. They right. that hear the words of this prophet because right now we prophesying to our people. Read them. Teach up. And keep those things which are written therein. Do what? Right. Keep those things which are written therein. Verse 11. Right. Verse 11. Bring Saying, I am the Alpha and Omega. Read Bring it up. The first and the last. Uh -huh. and, and what thou seest. Write it in a book. What That's you right. see, write down in a book. Read them. And send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. Read right. it. Verse 14. His Bring head and his hair were white like wool. His head right. and his hair were what? Were white like wool. So, what's the texture? What's your hair right now? Teach up. What is it? What is it? So, which one has woolly hair? Which one has uh, straight blonde hair? Bring it up. Read it again. And his hair. And his hair were white like wool. White like right. what? Like wool. Like right. wool. Which one is the depiction of Christ? Which one is we are we reading? Bring it out. What thou see? He said write down in the book. Which one are we reading? Bring it up. Read on. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. Read. Right. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Which means right. you just drink wine in moderation. Because when all people drink wine or strong drink, guess what? The whites of their eyes, they turn red, right? Bring it up. Oh, you see, when we angry, when we get mad, oh, the whites of our eyes, they do what? They turn red, right? Read on. And his feet like unto fine grass. Fine grass. So what color is grass? Okay. You ever, put, you ever seen a picture where you take uh, brass and put it next to a, a brother's arm? It's, it's roughly the same color. Think about a penny. What color is a penny? Brown. Brown, right? So we tack it on. His feet like unto? His feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. He said his right. feet like unto fine brass. So fine brass is the derivative of brown. So guess what? If your feet are brown, what color the rest of your body going to be? As if? As if? They burn in a furnace. So you take that brown and that penny, you burn it in a furnace. What color do you get? What color do you get? You ever cook? Yeah. You ever burn anything? Yeah. What about you, Kenny? You ever burn anything? Bring it up. You ever burn anything? Mom ever burn anything on the stove? Teach it come out white? No, it comes out what? What color? Burn, right? It's a feet like unto? Feet like unto fine brass. Uh -huh. As if they burned in a furnace. It says as right. if it burned in a furnace. You understand that, right? So now, what depiction are we talking about? What depiction are we talking about? Which one? Which one is the one that you read out of the out of the Bible? Kenny. Teach up. The brown one, right? So it up. if Christ is black, what color are the rest of the people gonna be? So right now, what are we teaching you? Why don't we teach you black history? Give me Song of Solomon, chapter 1, start at, start at verse 1. Bring it up! Go through scriptures to show and prove that we're not just talking talking about it, right? right. You read it, you heard it, right? Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it up! Song of Solomon, chapter 1, and verse 1. Bring it up. Bring it the up. Song of Songs, which is Solomon. The what? The Song of Songs, which is Solomon. This is talking about King Solomon. This is David. I am, verse 5, I am black. I am what? I am black but right. comely. I am black but comely. So what did King Solomon just say? He said, I am black but comely. What does comely mean? Comely means beautiful. He said, old English term that means comely means beautiful. So basically he said, I'm black, but he's a, he's a man, so I'm black and beautiful. You ever heard that? Back in the day, I think, uh, James Brown saying that, right? I'm black and I'm beautiful, I'm black and I'm proud, but he said I'm black and I'm beautiful. I'm black Great and hell. handsome. Who don't say that? Who don't say that about themselves? They go look in the mirror, they say, I'm, hey, I'm a handsome looking brother. That's the same thing he's saying here. Read it again. Bring it up. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Uh -huh. I am black but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem. Said, right. I am black but comely. So how come our people aren't being taught that? You know King Solomon was the wisest and richest man on the face of the earth? But how come our people don't know that? How come they don't know they come from royalty? Do they come from um, history that's greater than what they've been taught? Right? Job 30 and 30. So now, the prophet Job. Read. The book of Job, chapter 
The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Uh -huh. Read it up. My skin is black upon me. My what? Right. My skin is black upon me. So right. what is he saying? He said, my skin is black upon me. What? Teach up. That, that makes sense, right? So now we're going to go through what the prophets look like. What, what, what color do you think Moses was? Bring it up. He was what? Right. Let's see. Because so far, have we read anybody else that's came out a different color? Black, it's just, he's talking about the color of, like, we read Genesis 2, 7, um, early. It's talking about the ground. So, God created man out of the dust of the ground. Go there real quick. God created man out of the dust of the ground, right? So, look down at the ground. What color do you see? Brown, right? Yeah. What about if you dig, you get a shovel, you dig into the ground, what color are you going to get? You get lighter. You get as you go deeper? What about? Teach up. Does it get lighter as you go deeper? Bring it up. When you dig in the ground, when you dig in this dirt, does it get lighter or darker? You uh, think it get a little darker. What do you think, Kenny? You ever dug in the ground? Made a sand castle or anything like that? Once you dig in the ground, the deeper you go, the darker it gets. Think about everything that comes out of the ground. Brown, tree trunks, branches. See that? Brown. Everything that comes out of the ground is what? Brown. It's going to tell you. Read them. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Read up. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. He did what? Of the dust of the ground. So he formed man out of the dust of the ground. So what color was that? He was black. He was Jeremiah. black. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. So now let's go into it. Bring it out. All right. Go. So now we said Christ is from what tribe? What tribe is, is Christ from? Yes, Christ is from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. We don't got to go there. All right, so Jeremiah 14 and 2. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. So Christ is from the tribe of Judah. Judah, right? So what what uh, color is it? Black. Black, according to what? Bible. According to the Bible. Revelation 1, 14 and 15, all right? Read. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it up. Judah morning. And the gates thereof language. Right. They are black. They are what? Right. They are black. Really? Unto right. the ground. Unto what? Unto the ground. What did we just say? They are black unto what? Because not all Judah's gonna be dark brown. But you, you do understand that Judah has light, a variation, down to dark variation. It says they are black unto the ground. So it tells you Judah's black. So a lot of our people that don't know that, because like remember you said, blessed he that does what? Let's see that reason, right? Because they don't know that. But the history is actually talking about them. Give me Moses. Exodus chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. So now, okay, so, so now, now we understand who we are according to the Bible. What is it that we have to do? Teach up. Teach up. Because um, we all say we love God, right? But right. what if that comes with what? Think about it. Like, hey, say, we say, our parents, our parents love us, right? That means they're going to do things that show that they love you. Because guess what? If your parents don't feed you, or they don't, you know, clothe you, or send you to school and get education, teach up! Um, is that a form of love? No, because they're not grooming you to, to do what? To take care of yourself, right? These, okay, I taught my kids these things. Feed my kids three times a day. That's what your kids gonna do. Your kids normally gonna do what they've been taught. Teach up. If you, if you uh, what, beat your kids, stuff like that. That's generally when they grow up. That's what they're gonna do. If they know their parents did them right, more than likely that's how they they treat their kids, right? But the Bible actually right. finds it and tells you exactly how to treat your kid, exactly right. how to love um, your people, your father, your mother, stuff like that. All right. Read the book of 1 John, chapter 5 and verse 3. Read Read it up. Up. For this is the love of God. So, Kenny, what do you think uh, love is according to the Bible? Huh? What do you think it is? Teach up! Huh? The truth? That's true. Read it up. Read it up. For this is the love of God. Here's the love of God, read. That we keep His. Commandments. Now we do what? Keep his commandments. You hear that? Right. 
It said, the love of God is to keep the commandments. So right now, guess what we're supposed to do? That's what we're supposed to do. Teach up! Teach what? Teach and keep the commandments. Teach and keep the law. That's right. That's right. That's right. Does anybody? And his commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not what? Grievous. Right. His commandments are hard to do. Okay? Right. So our job is to come out and teach our people to do what? To keep the commandments to repent so they can come back to do what? So they can get the kingdom. Right. You understand? Because we asked this question earlier, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it How up. do we get the kingdom of heaven? Because our job is to love God, which is according to what? Teach up. Remember, when we say we love people, there's something that comes behind it, right? Um, think about the parent example. The parent, yeah. There's, there, what comes behind that? What comes behind that? Yeah, I love you, but I'm not going to feed you today. Maybe not tomorrow. There's, there, hey, there, there's an action that comes with it, right? Yeah, yeah, there's an action that comes. You're expecting to be taken care of, to be nurtured, right? It's your parent, right? So guess what? Guess who's our father? Who's our father? God. God's our father, right? not think he's going to take care of his children? He's going to take care of them, but guess what? When we mess up, Teach what do you think he's going to do? He's going to discipline them. All discipline is us being put in captivity. Now he said, get yourself together. Then when I come back, you're going to get the kingdom. You understand that, right? Bring it up. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring it up. And behold, right. one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? That I may do what? May have eternal life. Eternal That's life is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Read. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. right. There is none good but one. Right. That is God. That is God. Right. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep That's the right. commandments. He said, if you want the kingdom of heaven, keep the commandments. Read. He said unto him, which Jesus which said, what? which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt do what? Thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not right. kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit right. adultery. Don't sleep with another man's wife. Read. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt right. what? Thou shalt not steal. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Lie against right. your, your brother, your neighbor, who up? Read. Honor thy father and thy mother. Do what? Do you know? Honor. Thy father and thy mother. How do you right. honor your father and your mother? By doing what they tell you, right? Being obedient, read. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So right. wait, wait, which one of those things are going on in our community? Which one of those things do we do? We lie, we steal, we cheat, we sleep with our brother's wife. Bring it up. We do all these things. Bring so God says, to get the kingdom of heaven, you can't do these things. Right? right. right. So give me a law. Leviticus chapter 21. Verse 5. Bring it up. God commanded the children of Israel, his sons, right, to do what? We got to have beards on our faces. Right. All right. So that's actually right. a law for us to keep. Back in the day, I didn't know. He said, shame too. Shave off everything. But guess what? God said, that's a, a form of manly dignity. Anybody right. got Teach a up. John Dillon Compact Bible Dictionary? Give me the uh, give me the beard. That's an honorable thing. Because which, uh, how can you tell the difference between a male line and a female line? Bring it up. A, a beard of mustache, right? You know, that dude, don't mess with him. Don't mess with any one of them, but you know, that one, don't mess with him. That's the male, right? But guess what? Judah, outside, it's, it's the line, right? Do what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Read up. They shall not make boldness upon their head. They shall not do what? They shall not make boldness upon their head. That's right. right. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. When it says right. thou shalt not make baldness upon the top of your head, yes, you can get your hair cut low, right? Like this, right? Right. You right. talking about taking a razor and skinning it to where you just see skin. Yep. Because that, that's an Egyptian custom. Right. All right. Read. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Okay. No tattoos. That's it. Read it again. Give me actually 19, uh, Leviticus 19, 27. Bring it up. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 27. That's it. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. Uh -huh. You right. shall not round the corners of your head. Read on. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Do what? 
mark the corners of thy beard. Don't That's destroy right. your beard. Don't destroy your beard. If you can grow your hair, let it grow, all right? Because just let it grow naturally. Don't destroy it because that's what God considers honorable, right? right. He said we're supposed to be set apart, right? Bring it out. Israel's supposed to be set apart, holy, right? Separate, which means they got to start keeping God's law. Get the kingdom. What do you got to do? He said, if you love me, you got to do what? That's an action word that comes behind it, right? Right. Read what you got. The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Uh -huh. Bring it out. The term for beard. A badge of manly dignity. A what? A badge of manly dignity. A, a what? Manly dignity. That's that? right. That's why it said, blessed is he that read it. So now the law in the Bible says that his men are supposed to do what? They're supposed to have beards on their faces. Right. That's right. why we separate the man from who? The woman, right? Because we've been taught. We've been taught because that right there, uh, we've been taught to shave, do all that stuff. But guess what happens when we shave? Well, majority of times when our people shave, they face it. What happens? What do you get from it? Uh, you ever get hair bumps? Teach you All those things are cut up, yeah, right? Yeah. Hair bumps and all that stuff? Bring it out. Yeah. You, you get all those things that you got out. Because so guess what? That's it. I told you not to do that anyway. So now I'm getting that dude hair bumps all over his face. That's right. So now let's go to some curses. This is going to go to how we prove who we are coming to the Bible. How do we get here? How do we get here to America? Uh, How are you up here now? Uh, what? Uh, what was the former chance for? Slave them, right? So did that happen? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy right. right. chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With Ships. It says, bring us into Egypt again with ships. Okay. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which right, have Jenny. brought thee hey, take, out, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house two. of bondage. Hey, come to the school today. Call the number, come to the school, man. Yes, sir. Turn, turn around on the back. It's on the 855 number. Okay. Read it again. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. bring it I out. am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, Read. out of the house of bondage. Read on. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. <clears throat> Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Because the Most High God, guess what? As a punishment for us breaking the commandments, God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt. Bondage of slavery, but back on cargo slave ships. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.